See, yesterday when we were running along with the four wheeler here, we found this den accidentally. Oops. It's stuck in the pretty good hole, some pure, and we finally figured out there's a lot of trees that were cut downstream. It was all old stuff, and we're like, I'm kind of looking like I'm going, geez, there's got to be something in here. But then we've taken a beaver on the other side. But we were actually, when we were running along here, we fell in that hole, and the beaver stuck his nose out. So we went ahead and set it up in a real simple ditch. Down here a little ways, it tees off right at that corner there. Heads upstream. continues down and then just basically up here we set a trap on this side you can see a caster mound right there it's old though it didn't stink so I'm like geez is there a beaver here or not but there was um, set there basically blocked all the three entrances exits looking down in there you can see a channel I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I can see it Old sticks. You know, we've taken a lot of beaver out of here in the past. Here's this corner here. See a caster mound on the edge over there. That didn't stink. Another old caster mound down a little ways there. And then you come around the corner where we set a trap down there. And then also at the culvert up here. That culvert's been pretty productive, but. Um, I imagine he's going to bug out. All right, we get down here to where our set is. We can see the wire running downstream. I can see some fur. Looks like we got him. Big enough one to say he's been avoiding me for a little while. Okay, so once we got him out of the trap, we'll simply slide it back in the easiest path here. Should have probably had some boots and cut holes. Oh. I hate when that happens. Let's try it again here. Make sure the wire's going the right way. Trapping again. Hope I took off them safeties. Ha <laughs> ha!